Hey guys, this is Cursed1815. Uh, this video is for my network operating system class. Um, we are going to go through and do a quick um, demonstration of VirtualBox in installing Fedora for a class. You can open your VirtualBox. <clears throat> And you are going to select new. Welcome to the Machine Wizard. Hit next. Alright, here for this class, we're going to name our guest operating system Linux. I'm going to name on Linux 2 because I just, I've already got Linux installed for this class. I'm um, going to go down, select Linux and operating system, and go down to version and select Fedora. <clears throat> Hit next. For the memory, you can leave this the same, it's fine. I've got 6 gigs of RAM in mine, so I increased mine to a couple gigs um, where it's a little quicker. Um, just hit next. You're going to create a new disk. Hit next. For this class, we're going to be using VDI. For the file type, hit next. Leave dynamically allocated selected. You are going to change your hard drive size to 16 gigabytes. And you're going to click create and create. <clears throat> now you have a machine. You're going to make sure this is selected blue. It will be by default. And then you're going to you're going to put your disk for our class in your computer now and then you can hit start um, you can read these windows um, first time through you need to read them probably uh, here just hit next here media source select your host drive um, <clears throat> host drive D is the most common but it should default to whatever your drive is if you're not sure what drive your CD is in, if you got more than one DVD drive, you're just going to go to My Computer, and it will give you a list of your drives, and it will show you the one that the door disk is in. Um, in this case, it's D like default. So you would just hit Next and hit Start. And here you'll hit OK. And you're going to select install a new system or upgrade an existing system. Hit enter. You'll have to select that with your key tab if it isn't by default. Again, read these windows first time pop up. They may help you out if you are new to VirtualBox. Here, <clears throat> just skip the media test. If you have issues, you'll know it. Um, if you have issues through the first time it crashes, scan it with that media test a second time. And it'll tell you whether or not your disk is corrupt or if you have other issues, you will move from that point. <clears throat> Here, obviously, just hit next. <clears throat> Select your language. If you're in my class, I'm sure you speak English. Hit next. Same thing. Next. Under basic storage devices, make sure that's select and next. This warning will probably pop up. Hit reinitialize all. Leave your host name as default. 
Uncheck system clock uses UTC. Hit next. The root password, do something easy. You do not want to forget this um, in middle class and be locked out. Just use password for your password. It's going to tell you it is a weak password. Use it anyway. System security should not be an issue for this if they get into your computer. You know, that should be your where your efforts go to secure. Um, replace existing Linux systems. This will not affect your hard drive since we are in virtual box. Hit next. Write changes to disk. Leave all these as default. Hit next. At this point, <clears throat> it'll probably take 15 to 30 minutes, just depending on your computer. Um, just default next through the rest of the installation. Um, when it prompts you for a user, just do something simple like user for your username and user for your full name. Um, just keep it simple for the class, and uh, that way you won't forget and be locked out. Time to do your homework. Um, I will probably make another video to go through some basic. Uh, uh, features of VirtualBox, like changing the size of your window, etc. Um, you can check back for that. Thanks for watching. I hope this helped. Um, and subscribe to my channel if you, if you were happy. See you guys in class.